There are a couple things I typically give people advice on when it comes to buying something and uh, a certain time of the year. Motorcycles are typically a lot easier to find great deals um, in the winter time or even toward the end of the riding season, late summer, fall. Um, another one of those things you can get a great deal on at the end of the season are mowers. I've had a little Hustler Raptor uh, 52 inch with the Kawasaki engine. I bought it brand new about five years ago. It's been a great little mower. It's done everything I needed to do. Haven't really had any major issues whatsoever with it. Um, and for the price at the time, I couldn't have found a better mower, I don't think. So for the last couple years, I've kind of been uh, looking around, had my eyes out for a good mower and Toward the end of the mowing season is when you can typically find a great deal on a mower. You know, the dealers, if you're looking to buy new, the dealers uh, don't want to hold on to that stock all winter long. They want to move that stuff. So it sucks because when you buy a new mower, you're excited to use it and actually get a bunch of use out of it. And if you buy it at the end of the season, obviously you only get to mow with it a handful of times and then you just store it for the rest of the year. But the flip side is you can you could save a lot of money. I just need something that goes a little faster. I wanted to get into a 60 inch cut, something a little wider that could cut down my time. Um, and I really wanted something that had a bigger fuel tank. So this year I've kind of been looking around for quite a while. Um, and I've pretty much decided I want to sell my Raptor while it's still good. It's got 400 to 450 hours on it. Um, had no issues, it cleans up nice still. I wanted to sell it before I started having issues with it because I knew I wanted to get a bigger, nicer mower and I didn't want to put any more money into the Raptor. So I had that mower for five years, five seasons, and I paid 3,000 or 3,300 new for that thing. The first person that came to look at it ended up buying it for $2,000. I had to go out and find a mower. I'd been looking for a while, had my eye on a few. Um, a couple of them kind of fell through, didn't work out. So I ended up buying this Gravely. This is a 2008 model. It had right at 400 hours on it, which a lot of people would say, you know, you get just got rid of a mower because you didn't want to have problems that had 400 hours on it. Well, this is a completely uh, heavy duty commercial grade mower. Big night and day difference from the Hustler. It, everyone asked me, well, what was your Hustler deck? Well, it was a 52. I'm like, yeah, I got a 60 now. And they're like, oh, so you got a little bit of an upgrade. As you can see in the picture, uh, there's a huge difference between a residential, even, you know, 52 inch residential mower and a 60 inch commercial. Uh, huge difference. So I just want to share a little bit about this mower. Um, there's not a lot of information out there on these. This is a Gravely ProMaster 260Z, not to be confused with the newer ProTurn line of Gravely's. Um, this is called the XDZ, which stands for Extra Duty Zero Turn. The thing is built like an absolute tank. They discontinued this line of these mowers, I believe in 2016 or 2015. I will be really surprised if I can't get 1,500 hours on this without an issue. So these ProMaster Gravelys um, had a few features that are kind of neat uh, that the newer Pro Turns don't. Um, for one, they have the hood over the back, the engine cover. Uh, it keeps your engine protected and it's supposed to cut down on some of the sound. They've got a pivoting front axle so, you know, you can put these bolts in it that keep it solid if you like that, but it's really nice because when you're going over uneven terrain, that axle just pivots and it keeps the deck way more planted. It keeps the mower more planted. It's, it makes for a smoother ride. It makes for a more even cut, I think. So that's a pretty cool feature. It came standard with an adjustable air ride suspension seat. The mower frame itself is, bigger and heavier than a lot of the commercial mowers out there. 
Uh, this mower new, I believe sold from somewhere between 8,500 and 10,000. It's got the original X-Factor deck that is seven gauge steel with, I believe, 10 gauge reinforcement lip around it. The thing is just solid. It's got uh, four anti-scalp wheels across the front of the deck. It has the optional exhaust flap uh, that you can put on the deck. It does not flip up on these, which is kind of a pain. It's either on and down or you take it off and it stores. It's got a place where it stores right here on the deck. It, it comes standard with the 24 inch drive wheels in the rear and the 15 on the front. Huge wheels on it, huge tires. These come standard with the commercial engines. This particular model has the FD 731V. It's a Kawasaki liquid cooled, um, 26 and a half horsepower. It's got a radiator that mounts horizontally on top of the engine. A lot of your higher end commercial stuff will have 16 cc wheel motors and pumps. This thing has 21 cc wheel pumps. They're separate pumps and motors. It has a top speed of 13 miles an hour forward, six miles per hour backwards. It's got dual fuel tanks. It holds a total of 13 gallons of fuel. It does not have a fuel gauge, um, but it does have a switch to flip between left and right tanks. So if you run out of fuel on one tank, you can flip it over to the other. The seat and the rear hood all flip up as one assembly um, to gain access to your pumps, your engine, any of that for maintenance. Um, separately, the front deck uh, will flip up to have easy access to your deck to keep it clean or uh, work on it or anything. I'm not sure why they discontinued these and replaced them all with the Pro Turn series, but I mean, if you get a chance to buy one of these things, it is built like a tank. One of the few things I really don't like about the mower, the deck lift is so stinking heavy. Um, part of it is due to the pedal is in such a downward position that you don't really get leverage on it. It needs to be pitched up more. Um, it does have assisted springs on each side of the deck, but it's still extremely heavy. A couple options um, that this mower doesn't have that they offered from the factory, they offered headlights um, and they offered a hydraulic lift deck. Um, I usually prefer a manual deck. It's less to deal with, less to go wrong. I found it on the used marketplace. The guy was initially had it listed for like six grand, I think. Um, and then toward the end of the season, he came down to 4,000. I ended up making him offer for 3,500 and that's what I bought it for. I think I got a heck of a deal. Um, I think it's hard to find this much mower with decent hours on it for that price otherwise. This mower is a 2008 model. The guy bought it new in 08, used it completely residential on his own property. And there were even two years there where the guy was on the road um, and paid someone to mow and this thing sat in storage. This thing's going on 12 years old and you would never, never know it by looking at it. It's extremely clean. The guy took really good care of it. When I was looking around, it was hard to really put a price on this, but you know, I found them anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 that were pretty rough and had like, you know, some of them had 2,500, 3,000 hours on them, which is a great sign, by the way. And then, you know, on the higher end, I found some that were 7,500 bucks that had like a bagger system on the back and everything. Um, and most all of them had quite a few more hours than this. Most of them had anywhere from 800 to, you know, 1,500 hours on them. And they were still asking anywhere from, you know, 3,000 to, seven thousand dollars so i think you know with 400 hours on it as well kept as this one is only used on a residential property uh, i think i got a great deal for 3500 bucks in hindsight uh the first time i bought a mower i wish i would have probably spent the same amount of money and got something on the used market a little more commercial worthy or i probably wouldn't have been replacing it so soon but you know, this is a great example where you can go out and you can spend $3,000, $4,000, even $5,000 on a new lower residential to really high residential or even entry-level commercial grade. Or you can spend um, 
less than that, you know, the same or less than that and get a really, really nice heavy duty commercial grade mower for the money. If you're not mechanical and you're going to have to pay a dealer to do everything for you, you know, maybe it makes sense to get a new one, um, get a warranty with it and all that. I'm extremely pleased with the purchase. Um, it's been a really wet season and it continues to be that way. Typically this time of year, we're pretty much done with mowing, but uh, the grass is still pretty green and it's still growing. So hopefully I'll get to use the new mower quite a bit more. Uh, if you have any questions about this thing, hit me up. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me some feedback if you've got questions. And I'd really appreciate um, you subscribe to the channel. I don't put out uh, a ton of content, but I try to get out a new video at least every couple weeks. Um, and feel free to give me feedback um, down in the comment section. I will try to tailor more videos to what the audience wants to see. I need to wrap up this video and go get some work done. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.